Hi, welcome to the channel. This video isn't what I thought it was going to be. Um, I received a package, very excited to open it, and I was recording a video to show you guys um, my new upgrade. And so I was filming it for, for this particular video, and then halfway through the video, you can sort of you can sort of tell that when I opened the package, it wasn't quite what I expected, and so you can see my tone of voice sort of change a little bit, probably. Um, but let me know in the comments whether you think I was justified in in what I've eventually done. So you've got to watch the whole video for it to be in context. If you only watch half the video, clever. If you only watch half the video, uh, you're not you're not going to get the complete picture. Basically, enjoy. Morning. I had a job cancelled today, so I'm just sort of pottering around and getting my equipment ready for, uh, for the next couple of days. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that this old wet and dry vacuum I had, this was just bought to um, kind of suck up all the sludge from, uh, from driveways and stuff. Um, but I realised that this hole was uh, a similar diameter to the uh, gutter vacuum extension poles that are equipped to clean sold and so I thought I could convert it and it worked pretty well to be fair I got this um, 51mm um, it's like pond hose and I removed this which was the old attachment this is like 30mm, 35mm and I took the end that goes off of here um, and then like I've sort of glued it with my hot glue gun and these clips as well for the hose and that goes on there fine um, it's oh God, it does go on there I forgot how much wattage this is I think it's like 1500 1500 watt um, and it did the job. Suc suction was great. Um, the only problem with it that I found was one, the uh, this isn't like, or well, it doesn't seem to be a very good hose for this sort of work. It's quite heavy. It's not very flexible. Um, it is wire reinforced by the looks of it, but um, it's very brittle. So the sharp angles when it's when the poles are sort of sat on the floor and this is like that it would easily break these uh, break these tubes and this just sort of peels off so I broke it like three or four times um, and the other thing is the angle the angle that that goes in I don't know if you can see that but it's it would sometimes block up in this corner here. So what I've done, just just because it was a, just a bit annoying, that was all. It worked great for like sucking up all the sludge, but when it comes to vacuuming out gutters, it was just a bit annoying. Um, I've I've bought this, so I got this from Equip to Clean. Um, they're back off their Christmas break. They were back yesterday. And they picked and packed a, load, packed a load of orders and got it out to me today, which is very impressive. So thank you for that. And I'll put the link in the description for this. So you can uh, order one too if you fancied it. That's what I'm talking about, look at that. So this is wire reinforced hose, I believe. Is it? It might not be, I'm not sure. This is three, uh, five meters. I think this end goes into the uh, the poles. And then they've got this special, um, the other end they've got their special clip attachment, which that doesn't look like what I saw in the picture. 
We'll figure it out in a second. I'm sure it's on the other end. Oh, God. <sighs> Lovely little thing. So this one's 37 litres compared to my my old 40 litre one. I'm not too worried about the capacity, to be honest. I wanted something small so it could fit in the van. Is that the bit that goes in there? I thought it was supposed to be metal. That just clips in there like that. And so the main difference with this is one, it's got 200 extra watts. So it's 1700 watt. And also it's got this side entry system, which, um, I mean, in comparison to the one that was going in straight in my other vacuum, this is going to have a lot more suction and it's going to block a lot less. They call it a cyclone because it's designed to, you know, spread the whatever's going in around in a circular motion. Let's have a look. It's got these nice little clips. And then it's got this blue foam filter that can just be taken off and washed so just a few things I've noticed I actually read the description wrong and um, I think I was looking at some of the other hoses because I was just gonna buy their hose um, because mine was breaking so often uh, this wasn't advertised as a wire reinforced hose so I think it's just some sort of plastic or rubber not, not too sure um, it did say it came with brakes on the front casters um, this one doesn't seem to have any brakes on so I'll, I'll send them a message about that and see what they say maybe they can just send me the, the casters out um, and also where where this obviously goes into here this end this end is clearly 50 mil and this hole is clearly 50 mil um, but when this plugs in here I like this little mechanism by the way you pull that up and just see if I can do it with my knee just slots in there so that's pretty nice there we go um, but this actually reduces down to more like 40 mil I reckon yeah that's more like 40 mil um, so I'm hoping that's not going to affect it too much. It's got more suction than mine had. Um, but mine went 50 mil all the way in. So we'll see. I'm hoping it won't make too much difference. But other than that, very pleased. That's nice. Nice long power cable as well. That's a lot longer than my other one. Um, I won't be testing this today just because I've actually got no work on. I've had a cancellation. Um, but I'll be doing a school with this tomorrow. School over in Worcester. Um, so I'll be able to give it a good test, good review. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can get yours. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Kevder! Come. Are you scared of this? I'm sorry. So since recording that video, I then uh, decided that I, I wasn't actually uh, happy with the product. It wasn't, in my opinion, as described. And my girlfriend popped out and said, are you, are you pleased with it? And I was like, no, nah, not really. It wasn't what I expected. And, and we both agreed that, well, if it's, if, it's, if it's not what it should have been when you ordered it, it's a lot of money, you should probably get something different or... or you know, at least get your money back. So I contacted Equip to Clean and asked for a refund. And uh, and instead of that one, um, I've now bought a different system, a different vacuum from Gutter Vacuum Systems, which I'm hoping, I haven't opened it yet, I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit better. So this is a very similar 1700 watt uh, gutter vac, wet and dry vac, and more to the point, it's exactly the same price 
as the equipped to clean version. Um, but this one has some very major differences, I think. So this is the single motor 1700 watt Panther. It looks very, very similar to the one I had before from uh, Equip to Clean. But the main differences here are that this inlet is, it's like 72 mil, I think it is. And so when the, the hose, we'll find out in a second, but when the hose adapter actually goes in there, it's then reduced down to 51 mil. So it's 51 mil from the nozzle all the way down the pipe, all the way into the vacuum. Dissimilar to the Equipta Clean model, which goes from 51 mil down to like 38 mil and then back up to 51 mil into the vacuum. So this is where on the other one you're going to get a lot of your blockages. And I know from experience because on the Screwfix model um, that I bought a while back that you saw in the first part of the video, that was the main issue is that this this 38 mil vacuum hose wasn't big enough it was clogging all the time that's why i upgraded to a different hose so the other the other benefit of this one is it's got wire reinforced five meter hose so that's a it seems to be an, a you know big upgrade from the one i got with the other package and then on the end here there's no reducer it stays stays upwards of 51 mil all the way through um, and it, there's a metal fitting on here as opposed to a plastic one and then that clips into there nice and sturdy oops sorry Coda she's terrified of stuff like this um, the hose is a lot more flexible don't know whether it's going to be any stronger or or um, or what I, I suppose I won't know until I, until I try it out but it looks to be like a very high quality hose, nice and light, wire reinforced. Another important difference is the Equipped to Clean model only comes with this, this sponge filter. Um, and this is for wet use. But they've also suggested that the sponge filter can be used for dry use as well, if you like brush it off after every use. And what it should come with is something like this, like a cloth one. So it's got a cloth outer one and then this paper filter inside. So that's dry use, that's how, that's how it should look. In my opinion, they've um, sacrificed quality, um, but they've not adjusted the price. It's no cheaper than, than what you can get elsewhere. And I think they're actually in the process of that they've got an announcement. Uh, Please announce we've been awarded sole agency agreement with our Italian, Italian manufacturer. Um, whilst we appreciate lots of you had vacuums off gutter vacuum systems in the past, once out of stock, all original products, parts and accessories will only be available on equiptoclean.co.uk. So they're, they're now starting, they're, they're now in the process of manufacturing um, the Predator vacuum. Um, which which looks a lot like, which is like the newer version by the looks of it, of um, the 1700 watt uh, Panther. And looking at the pictures, um, that may have the similar side entry system as this one. It looks very similar. So I'm, I'm wondering if I'd have waited a couple of weeks or months for this one to come out from Equip to Clean, I might have been a bit happier with it. Um, but as it is, I've got a big contract coming up. As it is, I've got a big contract coming up and I needed it like today. So I was quite disappointed when I got it out of the box and it wasn't wasn't what I what I expected. Am I wrong? Am I am I blowing this out of proportion? Because on their website it still says so 1700 watt cyclone. Um, it still says on here. The wider inbuilt 51mm side inlet propels fast moving debris. 
And I think they need to change the website personally. But let me know what you think. Am I just, I'm sure the vacuum's great. I mean, they sell them and they've got good reviews, but it's not what I expected when I ordered it. That's, that's my only qualm. And I also said that the casters, the wheels, um, all the others have brakes on them, so I don't know why mine came without brakes. But let me know what you think in the comments, because um, I'm quite interested to hear whether you think there would have been a, you know, a problem had I just stuck with the other vacuum. Weird video, I know, I'm sorry. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next one, I suppose.